Have you ever been mistaken as each other? Every single day. What? Yeah. yeah. It's just normal now. Yeah. Um. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we wanted you to get to know us a little better and we wanted to do a different type of video today. So here we are with our tea. What? Wow, we're really in sync today. That Which is here. why I think this video is perfect because we're gonna be answering some twin Q and A's. I'm also, I'm not Lindsay. I know it says L on my cup. Just to make things more confusing, she's drinking out of the L cup. I was just nice enough to share a cup with her. A mug. Anyways. Wow, okay, let's answer some twin questions and just chill with you guys. And drink, drink our tea. Are we gonna interrupt each other like we're doing or can we oh. actually talk? You put lemon in this? Yeah, it's really strong. Well, there's also lemon in the tea. Oh. Okay. First question, this one's kind of obvious. How does it feel to be a twin? It feels like all I've ever known. It's not unique. Yeah. Well, it's not unique to us. Yeah. So it just feels like our everyday life for the past 21 years. Although I will have moments where I sit and I think, wow, people don't have another them. We're also lucky to be very similar personality interest wise you know yeah and it feels very comforting i guess because we have a lot of the same interests like most twins i'm not gonna say all twins but a lot of them have the same interests so it's comforting to have someone to go places with you and do things with oh i'll um, change my answer it feels blessed i feel blessed how's dating going as twins it's not going it's not going it's but it's actually not um as twins there's always a little bit of an insecurity where when you meet someone you think oh they're gonna what is happening? Every time we film a video, our neighbors just love to be so loud. Yeah, there's always that insecurity where you think that the person that you're interested in is going to be interested in your twin, which is probably 100% correct because if you think of it, at least the physical interest is there. Did you have the same friend group growing up? Yeah, growing up we had the same friend group. Since we were in separate classes for most of our school years, we would always have our one friend where we'd be like, oh, this is my friend kind of thing. But we'd still I be friends. I forgot about that. Yeah, we would. You know what I mean? And we'd kind of gatekeep the person from each other. Yeah. Just because we didn't want them to... <sighs> I didn't even... Don't. Stop. That's um, yeah, I, I think we did have the same friend group for the most part. We'd hang out, but no, we would have our separate friends. Oh, this is what would happen is you would make a friend like, you know, like, and um, <laughs> she'd make a friend, she'd make a friend and they'd be friends and they'd hang out and they'd talk and I would slowly seep into where I would get invited to the hangout just because she did the work and made the friend and vice versa. <laughs> yeah. Do you get jealous of each other? Honestly, honest, honest, honest to God, I do not. I've never felt jealous of her ever, which yeah. is so weird because I've had friends that I've been jealous of in the past. Exactly, I can own up to it and say I've been jealous of friends at points in my life, but I've never been jealous of you. I think it's because a lot of people ask us this too. Her win is my win. I've never actually felt jealous for you. I've been envious of your skin when I would be breaking out and then yours would be clear, but it was never like bitter, you know? Do you like being called a twins? Does it affect you? Neither of us knew that we were being called the twins until recently because we heard it in a conversation with one of our friends talking to our other friends and we were like, oh, that's cool. Like it's, it's not, it doesn't, I'm very neutral about it. But our parents would call us that. I think we've, yeah, I've we heard it normal. growing up though here and there, but we just never really thought much about it. It doesn't affect us at all. I think that's, that's what I would call my friends. For the few twin friends that we've had, we've called them the twins. Do you have similar diets? Right now we do, because right now we're on a special little meal plan, whatever you want to call it. I think in the past our diets have been kind of different. Um, I think you're starting to like a lot of the foods that I like now, like honey, for example. Yeah, I used to hate honey. There's nothing I'll eat that you won't eat. Well, tea, for example, I really did not like tea. I mean, I would have it when I was sick and stuff, but I never liked it until just recently. I put you on. Did birth order affect you guys as twins? Uh, no. I was born a minute before her. So I'm technically older, but I've never held that over her head. Yeah, I wouldn't say it affected us at all. If anything, people always assume that I'm older and I'm not, it's just because I'm taller. Did you ever like the same guys? This is a good question. We get this pretty frequently. Um, yes, we have. Not all the time, but we have at some points and that's all there is to it, right? It never really ends badly. How tall are you guys? So this question, I kind of already answered. I'm taller. I'm five, Six and a half. You always have to add the half though. You don't no. have to add the half. I'm five seven then. No, no, I'm, I'm five seven. seven. I've gotta be. Because I've no, no I, I was actually about to say before you even answer that, don't say five seven because you're five six. No, I'm five Lindsay, no. If you're five five, 
I'm 5'6 and a half because I'm more than an inch taller. Everyone thinks she's so much taller. I don't see it, but I'm 5'5, five five, she's 5'6. Five she is taller. Okay. Any secrets or hidden talents? Um, we're not doing any secrets. I recently no. told you probably my only secret that I've kept for the longest yeah, time. Yeah, she kept a secret from me for about five months. And I, can I say I wasn't shocked? I always kind of knew, but I never asked regarding this secret. And then I found out and I was like, I get why she didn't tell me the secret. We don't have any secrets at the moment. I don't I, so. oh, I, I, there's do one thing I don't want. I have one. Have one. I will never tell her one thing. It's going to the grave with me. Really? Uh, I have one. It's though. going in my grave. I don't know if we're going to be buried in the same grave or not, but it's going in my grave. Okay, well, I have so one. it's going to my grave. Okay. Unless you want to know it, but you do not want to know it because you'll get so mad. Can you tell me right here on camera? That'd be so fun. I can't. Please? You know, I'm not gonna I, I literally can't. Yeah. I genuinely love okay, right. I, you yeah. can't tell me anything I'll give it. It won't be as bad as the secret. So just tell the me. what? The secret that you told me. It won't be, it won't be like that. I won't react like that. So can, can you tell me the secret on camera? I can't do it. I can't do Why? it. Why? Because even I am like, okay. Okay, there's no secret then. Do you still have sleepovers? We shared a room for our entire lives until recently. Until probably two years ago, one year ago. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't know. I love having my own room and I love having my own space. But I kind of sometimes will miss someone being there with me. So she'll just come and sleep in my bed sometimes. And that probably happens once every few months. No, it's happened. Do it. Okay, no, that's it. Oh, okay. oh it's mean. What were we saying? Oh yeah, sometimes sleepovers. But honestly, I like I like my separate time. It's rare. Unless we're in bed watching YouTube or something. That's TV. what I'm saying. And we just fall asleep. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, have you ever been mistaken as each other? Every single day. What? Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. just normal now. Yeah. Um. <laughs> wow. wow. conversations like some guy asked us a question and we answered simultaneously exactly like and then we had I said Nina this is why I don't talk so much because I wait for you to talk so that I don't say at the same time and come off as creepy twins. people think we just don't know how to conversate when we're speaking together because you'll ask us a question and then we'll both be like we don't answer for a good half a second to see who's gonna take over the, the answer we don't want to be speaking over each other which happens most of the time but this tea is very bitter um, I like it though. It's sweet. Oh, I put lemon in it. Lemon's not bitter. Tea. Oh, <laughs> do you fight? As kids growing up, we never really fought. Honestly, I don't remember fighting with you as a kid. Wow. Yeah, we did not fight as kids. We had probably little arguments over. Oh, maybe dogs. I don't remember. Yeah, like have I hit you? Maybe. Mm, you, oh, that one time you like dug your fingernail in the meat. You know, we did have that, but not often. Like we really got along. And we would apologize if we really hurt each other physically, which rarely happened. I can't even recall an instance. But we would apologize right away, so it was never yeah. like a fight. And now, yeah. I think with all our growth, all our spiritual growth and all that, we actually don't last with fighting. Like, we, we really don't fight, we more so argue. It's rare that we fight. Yeah. It's yeah. so healthy to argue. Everyone's mm -hmm. supposed to argue. Yes, but I feel like we don't hold grudges. I, I'm apologizing to you a lot more now. I have no pride with that. I lost all my pride. I, I give up my pride and I just start apologizing to her. Apologizing, apologizing to her. Why can't um, you speak? Yeah, it's not that hard. This is a good question. Are you annoyed with typical twin questions? Probably like who's older, how do I tell the difference, those kind of questions. Or those where'd you guys meet kind of jokes. No. No, not annoyed, but Never. I can do without. Like it doesn't phase me. It's kind of just like how's the weather, you know? Yeah, honestly, from the I'm, I get annoyed very easily, or at least I used to, but I've never been annoyed by twin questions, who's taller, who's this, because I just find it normal like why wouldn't you ask that it's nice when someone takes interest yeah, in you so. exactly so i've never actually been genuinely annoyed by it which is actually impressive if anything i'm more annoyed with not having any clever comebacks you know have you ever considered living together after marriage Ugh. no no maybe on the same street why no 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 i don't want to no, but i'm saying that. like I'm saying I would never live in the same house. I've just never really considered what it would actually be like being married. I haven't gotten that far in my head. Um, okay. I think we live as a married couple right now. Yeah. But I'll divorce you when I get married to my husband, so. Can you let me speak? I really wonder, like, are our husbands going to be 
friends? Or will they be one from this country and one from this country? You know what I mean? <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> Different countries. Woo! Internationals. <laughs> Are you judgmental of your twins' dates or guys she talks to? I sometimes it depends. Sometimes on the guy. yeah, it depends on the guy. Not always judgmental. Usually, if she's gonna be talking to someone, I kind of know why she's starting to talk to them because I've we get the height. We know sense. them. Like you know, we we know who's. I don't even know how to explain. Yeah, I was just making fun of you for not being able to talk, and now I can't talk. So you take over. Why don't we just answer the next question? Favorite thing about each other. This is what we're ending on. I like how you'll know sometimes what I feel like eating or what I feel like doing, and then you'll say, blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah, and now I'll make, and then we'll have this for dinner. And I'll be like, yes, we yeah. will, because I was thinking about that. Monday. Or you'll say, like, blah, 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 yeah, and then we're going to go for a skateboard ride. And I'll be like, yeah, we are doing that later. And so it's kind of nice to have someone who's on the same page, and you do that a lot, 90% of the time. I was going to kind of answer something similar because yesterday we were driving to a particular friend's place. And I guess I was in the passenger seat and I was overthinking if they asked me a certain question, how I would answer. And I kid you not, she goes, and if blank says blah, 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 just say blah, blah. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, we're very- um, Like, huh? It, it was actually very interesting because I was like, oh, okay, I'm not weird for planning out my response, which is actually, we shouldn't be planning out our responses. We should just be honest. I guess that's kind of my favorite thing about you is that we're always on the same page for the most part on the same page Oh, yeah. also, I like how you take charge with a lot of our Work our business together See that was a good that was a good answer. That's a good appreciation. Spot. Yeah to end the video Hopefully you guys know us a little bit more or feel like you do uh, We kind of opened up there if we should do more Q&A's, please, please let us know down in the comments and then we'll have you guys ask us some more questions. We'll put up a question poll. Oh, we actually, it would be really funny if you guys could ask us some really interesting, deep, awkward questions. I would, yeah, I'm willing to answer anything. So just let us know what kind of stuff you want to see. And we'll see you all in the next video. Love you.